is a face of the day um, for March the 9th, 2017. Um, it is a sort of my take on a flick with a bright lip. You can use any kind of lip you want. Um, and it's super quick. So it means that I can do it whilst my kids are getting ready for school. And um, you'll see why it's super quick uh, later on. And it's because I use more products than you'd think would be super quick. I should also mention that the loft works are underway. So there is gonna be a whole load of banging and crashing. I wasn't actually even gonna film anything for this week, but then I thought that is not the attitude. So I'm sorry about the banging and crashing. This is actually the quietest it's ever been since they started work. Um, and uh, yeah, next thing you see will be me with no makeup on. So I've done all of my morning skincare and then I um, all up until a vitamin C uh, oil and I will link a dis in the description box my current morning skincare routine and then I've gone down and got my kids ready for nursery and then they've gone off and so just before I do my makeup I'll do my moisturizer and this is the in transit camera close-up um, cream which I don't love for dry skin but is a very nice um, moisturizer to use um, just before your makeup um, then as always I'm going to do my um, eyes first this is the Lola um, eye base um, so this is another look that I do um, that's really quick um, and it's sort of my go-to one for when I don't know what to do or I want to wear a bright lip. So I've got my Louise Young Essential Eye Palette. And an LY19 brush. And I'm just going to use the two lightest colours. All over my eyelid. Mostly the really pale one. A really sunny day in London and so I'm near a window and it keeps getting sunny and shady so I'm really sorry if the light keeps changing then I'm going to use a tiny bit of the lightest brownie color which is Maui and this terracotta on the end just through the socket Because I just fancy a bit of shimmer on the lids, what I have been using is this, which is the Iridescent Light Highlighter from this palette. don't use very much of it, but I just push that a tiny bit over the lid. A really tiny bit. Okay, now comes the Steve. The sun's gone again. Now comes the weird bit. Okay, so I've got the Soap and Glory Super Cap Fat Eyeliner, which has this really cool shape point. So it's flat on one edge, and um, this formula of liquid doesn't last very long. Um, but the shape of it makes it really easy to apply and really quick to apply a flick. So what I have been doing, because I don't have a lot of time in the morning, is doing my flick with this and going over the top of it with a more long lasting formula. So I use flat ed edge up to get a really straight line. And then I'm going to do my flick again. I think I start with the, maybe I'll do the flat edge down. Let's see. So I start with flat edge down and then flat edge up. 
Then I just clean up the edges with a cotton bud underneath. Make sure they are even because I've got really wonky eyes. Then I'm going to go over with my Lancome Art Liner. Any liner that you know that has good longevity. And then of course I go in over the top with some black eyeshadow from the, the same Louise Young palette on an angle brush. And this is just going to not only set it completely, um, but just smudge it up a bit to make it less kind of precise. And then mascara, this is the Benefit Roller Lash. Right, so then we're going to go on to the base and I'm using my Hello Flawless from Benefit foundation, which I love. Especially on days when I need to be quick because the coverage and the finish is so good. concealer under my eyes. I'm actually just going to run what's left of the black under my lower lashes before I do my concealer. Not that there should be any fall down because there's no new products on there but just in case. Then I'm using Clarins Instant Concealer which I kind of use when I don't want to use a corrector because you get really good coverage. Which I need at the moment. Thanks, baby. Then I'm going to use this, which is the Clinique, Clinique Lower Lash Bottom Lash Mascara. Which I'm sure is great for loads of people. But the brush is just too small for me. It's, it's too precise. Which is not my favourite. Then I'm going to use my favourite um, blusher for this kind of look when I'm doing a quite heavy eye and quite bright lip. It's not a heavy eye, it's just a flick line. Don't want to have too much on my skin. This is the watercolour blush from Daniel Sandler. Then I'm going to set under the eyes with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Oh, I'm going to do my brows. I've got brow Maybelline Brow Drama in Dark Blonde um, I'm usually pretty lazy about my brows, but I think if you're having a flicky liner, it's quite good to just at least have them neat. What made me do this look in the first place was that I found um, a, a retro matte um, lipstick from MAC that I love that I never really hear anyone else talking about, which is called Dangerous. It's kind of orangey red um, matte, as the name implies, and it's really pretty. I'm using, this is um, Exaggerate from Rimmel in Passionate, which they don't do anymore. But as long as you've got a lip brush, any red lip liner will do, really. Now, as with all the retro matte 
lipsticks, you kind of need to be careful when applying this. Because it does get a bit patchy if you let it. But once it's on, it lasts for ages. So, the reason I haven't powdered is so I can see if I've got too much blusher on for this look, which I haven't, but I'm just going to go back in with my what's left on my foundation brush and just make sure that everything is really nicely blended because you really want the skin to be minimal. Now, one of the reasons I love this look is that the makeup wears in quite well. The lips will obviously look a bit less dramatic because you've powdered over the eyeliner. That will just soften a bit. Now, if I was going out later, um, I would put some highlighter on my cheekbones, maybe a bit, um, and I would put some black liner on my lower waterline but because I'm going it's daytime it's really sunny I just want to keep this not too dark not too eveningy so I am just going to powder with um, my ambient lighting edit No, this is just a finishing powder, but I use it everywhere. And again, because it's quite um, a nice illuminating foundation, nice illuminating blusher, this I find just works really well in just keeping it all together and toning it down a bit for the lip. And that's it. Um, this is probably a really long video there's been a lot of drilling and stuff going on. Um, but it's really super quick for me to do. It's like maximum look, minimum effort, because as with everything with me, everything's a bit smudgy and raw. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.